Hey everyone, got an original NES here, and in pretty good condition I gotta say. Not very yellow, not too many scratches on it. This was sold as non-working with uh, no real explanation what's wrong with it. Didn't come with any cables or controllers, but thankfully I've got a set. Let's hook this up and see exactly what's wrong with it. Got the power plugged in. And that's expected behavior. So good so far. Got some AV cables plugged into it here. Got the best game ever made here as well. Or the best Zelda game at least. Before we do anything, let's hit both the cartridge and the console with some electrical contact cleaner. Let's power it on with the game now. And we got the uh, good old flashing light. Nothing on the TV. Let's try... Okay, I've tried putting this in and taking it out about uh, 15 times. So let's open this up and maybe we just need to do some serious cleaning inside there. Alright, let's open this up. Not too bad in terms of dust. Slight corrosion on the uh, metal here, but I don't think it's anything too serious, hopefully. Let's take this off. Right, and I thought something looked weird with this. Yeah, 72 pin contact is missing. Basically the uh, cartridge contact's been uh, stripped out of here, which is always nice. Let me go look up how much uh, one of those costs. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've got a second one here that's in a lot worse condition. Not sure if this comes across in camera, the amount of uh, yellowing that's on this one compared to uh, this. And the good news is this one actually has a 72 pin connector inside there if you can see that. So before I waste 20 bucks on the uh, new connector for this, let's get the one out of here. We'll pop it inside there. If it works, we'll leave it in here. That way we have an all original uh, system that's in good condition. And I'll grab a new connector for this one. And you know what? Just to be certain the way my luck's been going, let's connect this old one up. So we got a power light. Let's pop the game in. I think there might be something wrong with this one as well. Gonna hit it with some contact cleaner. It's a little bit better. Let's just make sure it's not the uh, game. We'll try this instead. Same thing. Okay, so I can confirm there's something wrong with this one too. So let's open this one up as well. We'll take the uh, connector out of there, pop it into the other one, see if that was the only problem, and see what we can do about this. Let's pop this one open now. A lot more corrosion on the uh, metal shielding here. And I do want to stress, I uh, wasn't actually intending to fix this one. Didn't even think this one was broken, to be honest. This one's actually for my own collection. And admittedly, I haven't used this in quite a few years. But it did work last I remember. There's the uh, connector. Let's get the plastic loader out. One thing I do love about these NES is, for the most part, it's all the uh, same screw, even down to the uh, case screws outside. I mean, except for like these screws, of course. So let's see if I can remember how to uh, remove this. I think I may have to take off the entire motherboard. Let's take this out now. A little bit of corrosion on this here. Let's clean this up as well as these pins. Then we'll try this one again. Let's clean these up now. You can actually see corrosion right there as well too. Also, when you're spraying this stuff, best to not let it get in your hand. So uh, do as I say, not as I do. Hopefully this is clean enough to do a quick test. Might as well clean up here a little bit with some IPA while we're at it. 
And let's give this a quick test. And same thing. So we're going to have to do a little bit more of a deep dive in this one. For now, let's uh, remove this connector and try it in the other one. And again, too, I'm not entirely convinced by some of these contacts here. But uh, I might have to get some low-grit sandpaper just in these little spots, maybe. But we'll see. Back from a short break. And yeah, that stuff does wash off. This one's missing these long uh, silver screws here. Let's get this out now. This one's got some slight corrosion right here and a little bit in the other side, but not as bad as the uh, previous NES. Let's hit this with some contact cleaner. Let's pop this thing in. And looks like we're fairly aligned in there. Let's test this out again. And We've kind of got something. Let's fiddle around with this a little bit more. Let's pop this back on to put some downward pressure on the cartridge. Okay, let's see if there's uh, any difference now. And... Success. Found a controller here from a job lot of... Uh, Random broken stuff. I have a feeling this one might actually be broken. No screws up here. A weird screw here. None here either. But uh, yeah, let's try this out. Looks like we're working. But the controller is not. I've got another controller here. This one's a uh, quick shot joystick from that same job lot. I'm hoping the only issue is uh, this little piece of plastic that's broken off there. Let's find out. Okay, so far so good. B button works. Directions work. Ah, stupid game. So we've got one working NES right now and one broken one, which I didn't even realize was broken. Really like the condition of this one. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, we still have one broken one and a broken control or two, apparently. So what I've done in order to keep this nice one as nice as possible, I'm going to leave the original 72 pin connector inside there just to keep this as well, all original equipment. And I've ordered a new aftermarket 72 pin connector to go into the other one should arrive here tomorrow. So I'll play around with that one tomorrow, see what happens. And uh, Hey, got a spider going across the uh, desk right there. But, uh, yeah, for now, let's, uh... Oh, here's Mr. Spider again. Oh, where'd he, where'd he go? No, no, you can't go in the NES. He's off and scurrying, so sorry before uh, we got rudely interrupted. So let's take a look at that broken controller, see if we can figure out what's going on inside. And this one here, lovely condition. Got a slight change of plans. For the controller, I'd initially thought maybe it was just the wire that was broken or corrosion, but near as I can tell, this chip right here is bad and I gotta get a replacement and that's probably gonna be another month to uh, get that from AliExpress. So there'll be a uh, video sometime down the line featuring this uh, controller. And as for the 72 pin connector from Amazon, that's still on the way. That may not get here till later tonight or something. So for now, we've got one functioning uh, any console, one controller to repair, and one more NES to uh, take a look at. So we'll leave it here for now. Next video will probably be the other NES. In any case, thanks for watching. Take care.